Hi, in this video we will deal with a very common scenario in ASP.NET MVC applications. The scenario is you want to create a one-to-one -one association relationship between two entities. So let's say you have two entities, an employee and a department. Each employee has a department. The way to implement that is by adding the department ID for any key to the employee entity. So I have created a Visual Studio project template that shows this scenario in action. Let's first install it on Visual Studio. So here I go to Tools, then Extensions and Updates. Click the online menu here and here I search for the extension and just type the name of the publisher. So here is the extension called Employees Directory MVC Template. So if it's not installed on your PC, you will have a download button here. You click on it and then the extension will be uh, automatically installed inside Visual Studio. So it's installed for me, it's already installed. Close it. Then when that uh, project template is installed, I go to New Project, select Visual C Sharp. Then here I will have a template that looks like this. So it's added to uh, the list of the default templates inside Visual Studio. So now I can create an employees directory project. So give it a name, then click OK. So here is my project that contains the two models, the employee entity which contains full name department CN and department ID which will be used uh, as a foreign key to the department um, entity so the department entity contains only an ID department name and a director so inside uh, ISPNet application I want to link uh, a department for each employee I create so let's run this application. It's restoring the NuGet packages, and then it will launch my application on the browser. So here it is my application. So now I can go to the employees tab here to see the full list of the employees. Of course, now the database is empty, so I don't see any uh, record here. So I go to create a new employee. So let's give it full name. Marwan, for example, let's give it CN random number. And here I select a department, but I don't have yet any department in my database. So I'll go to the department menu and create a department so we can see it in this, um, in this tab later. So let's create a new department. Let's call it uh, business development. The director, let's choose Muhammad, for example, create. I'll go to create a couple of other uh, departments, research and development. The director, Ahmed, create. Create a third one. Uh, let's say uh, human resources. Let's say Hassan is the director. Create. Then I go back to employees. Create new. Now I'll have a department. The department ID section here. I'll have my three um, departments that I have created. So now I can um, link this employee to uh, one of my. Um, my departments that I have created here. So the code of this application, you already have it inside um, this project template. So actually what I have done here in the employee, I have added the department ID, which is the department 
name so you have to type it as the name of your entity adding to it I, uh, the ID this convention will be used by entity framework so that it will know that you want to link a department entity to each employee for that it will generate special views for you to add in the form where you uh, create a new employee here the code of the views so you can see them here and the create for example here you will have a new view for the department id which is managed by the controller the employees controller so here for the department for example here it's it's creating a department id adding it to the view back and adding it the list of all the departments that it gets from the, our database I hope you find this project template useful for you. If you want to take a look at it, so it's, uh, um, it's here in Visual Studio Gallery. You can find it here and you can find a link uh, that goes to the uh, project uh, source code and uh, GitHub. And also you can watch my videos on uh, YouTube. So thank you.